Thanks. Thank you. That's right. Okay, folks, hey, let's make this a good one, huh? Who's up, Raul? Yeah, Ron. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. What, what do you want to All right, then. One it is. Type in your name. Because this is exactly what happens magically. Oh, 30 no seconds. E. Your buzzer is the letter B on your keyboard. That's B is in Babette. 20 seconds. What is with the starfish gobo? 20 seconds, people. Oh, 20 seconds. Um, okay, look, listen. Here's the directions. When a question pops up, you gotta buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right number on the keyboard. Got it? It is easy. Ten seconds. Nine. Okay, and get rid of the desktop. Seven, six. Go to black. All right, we're going. Three. It's big. It's hot. Why doesn't it kill us all? Learn about the sun tonight. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Wow, look at you playing Jack by yourself. Can I let you in on a little secret? You're gonna win. Now then, well, there is one advantage to playing by yourself. You got plenty of room at the keyboard. Okay, ready to roll? Good. I need a category. Here we have... What color is a Bolshevik? $1,000 at stake on this one. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. Imagine that Senator Joseph McCarthy started searching for communist activity in the Crayola 64 box of crayons. Which of these crayons would not be suspected? Burnt Sienna, Magenta, Fuchsia, or Cerulean? Do you, Fuchsia, know anyone in or have any ties to the Communist Party? I cannot recall. See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. <laughs> Cerulean is the only color here without any red mixed in, so it would not fit into McCarthy's anti-communist red scare. The senator was always one for off-color remarks. Category, please. Coming at you. Do we really need two Eddie Vetters? And we got 3,000 bucks in the pot. Just step up and take a swing at this one. Say Eddie Vetter of Pearl Jam spontaneously divided into two little Eddies. Scientifically speaking, which Pearl Jam song title best represents the result of this process? Nothing Man, Alive, Jeremy, or Daughter? Go get it! It would result in nothing? Oh, if it were only true. In case you're wondering... In science, a daughter is the first generation of something after it divides into something new. All I can say is if I had a daughter that looked like Eddie Vedder, I'd name her Alanis Morissette. Okay, I need a category. Well, looks like this category is the great Latin lover, Tom Selleck. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Let's see how you handle this one. If you were to ask Magnum P.I. about his magnum opus, about what would he most likely tell you? His favorite handgun, his evil twin I.P. Mungam, his greatest case, or his pet penguin? His favorite handgun? No, you're thinking of a 37 Magnum or something. What do you think this is, some sort of a crapshoot? Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. Magnum Opus translates to great work, so Magnum would be telling you about his greatest case. Although on some episodes, the mustache is the best thing going. All right, hit me. Over 
This category is known as... I've got your yard arm right here, little buddy. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. If the SS Minnow hoisted a yellow flag before grounding on that uncharted desert isle, what would that signify to other sailors? Ship foundering, send help, sickness aboard, send doctor, mechanical problems, send engineer, or out of lemons for gin and tonic, send fruit. You think they need an engineer when the professor can make radios out of coconuts? The correct answer is... Ah! A solid yellow flag called a yellow jack tells other sailors that the ship is carrying infectious disease or that Gilligan is wet his hammock again. Okay, pick a category. Okay, give it up for... That's not a smokestack, it's really big incense. Thousand bucks if you get it. Hey, did you hear the news? There's a tiny little unknown chemical company out there that's trying to fight the system and make a difference. Imagine this. Suppose Dow Chemical used the phrase the Dow of Dow as its new mission statement. Loosely translated, what would this company be trying to get its employees to do? See the light of chlorinated solvents? Discover the way of cellulose ethers? Learn the power of polyurethane? Or feel the energy of industrial foams? Can you see the light? Hmm, guess not. Here's what you should have picked. Dow means the way, and apparently it's either Dow's way or the highway. Category, please. Well, what do we have here? If penicillin doesn't work, get the leeches. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Put your tray in the upright position, it's time for takeoff. Imagine the hospital drama ER were set during Europe's 14th century Black Death. Because it wasn't a commonly accepted remedy, which of these episodes would you not see? A cannon being fired in the hospital, doctors and patients engaging in sex orgies, Carol arranging dead animals around the ER, or Doug bathing a child in urine. No, that was an actual cure. I guess they figured the dead animals would cover up the stench of vomit. Let's take a look at the right answer. Rampant sex was not popularly believed to cure the plague, although it is my favorite cure for a headache. Okay, I need a category. Pucker up for. They never really bull weaveled me over. This one can net you a grand. Let's rock. If the Beatles had changed their name to the Bull Weevils, what would you expect one of their song titles to be? Leatherback Rider, Yellow Submarine Mammal, I Wanna Kill Your Cotton, or Norwegian Wood Eater? <laughs> you know, it's funny, but we're actually looking for the correct answer. That you wish you'd pick this. <laughs> the Bull Weevil is a beetle which kills cotton plants. Other Bull Weevil hits include Can't Buy Me Dead Cotton, Dead Cotton Lane, and Destroyed Cotton Fields Forever. All right, hit me. Hey, all right, guess what you just picked? It's time to play Dis or Dat. And this dis or dat questions category is Thunder, thunder, thunder and lightning Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names And for each one I want you to tell me If it's the name of a constellation or one of the Thundercats If it's a constellation, press one If it's a Thundercat, press two And to skip, press four for each right answer, you get 500 bucks. And 500 will be taken away if you get it wrong or don't get to it. All right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. And we're off.
Leo! Constellation! Lion-O! Draco! Virgo! Panthro! Tigra! This is it! Cassiopeia! That's all she wrote! Six right. Not quite perfect, but you can't get any closer. Let's throw it into your score. Hey, that's something. Let's keep going. I need a category. is number nine. Now serving? Stuffing instead of pilgrims? You give me a right answer, I give you 3,000 bucks. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. It's Thanksgiving, and to celebrate, you've invited the person who made it a national holiday. What will you have to get to make your guests comfortable? A glass for George to soak his teeth in, a musket stand for Governor Bradford, a taller ceiling so Abe can wear his hat inside, or an extra room for Massasoit's 90 Warriors. Go get it! Guess this turkey's done. Abraham Lincoln made Thanksgiving an official national holiday to be celebrated the fourth Thursday of November. I hear Lincoln's a great dinner guest, just don't take him up on those theater tickets for afterwards. Okay, pick a category. You, my friend, better start getting comfortable, cause this one could get steamy. You're joining in on a three-way. Okay, this is simple, but hear me out anyway. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. Buzz in when the correct three-way member is lit up and you score. But be careful, if you don't make a correct match, you'll lose some cash every time you're wrong. But don't be misled, this question may or may not have anything to do with the three-way as a group. And here we go. Category for this one is lock up your cattle and get your gun. Which means we're going to be joined by lock, stock, and barrel. Okay, hand on your buzzer, here's your three-way. take it anymore. Looks like we've reached our climax. Uh, now let's see how you scored. You tease! You took me to the brink and then left me there $1,000 from the promised land. Oh well, let's just add it to your overall conquest total. So, is it as good for you as it was for me? Probably better. Okay, let's get on with the game. Okay, I... See you for the next part.